Good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday. I am up this early Tuesday morning. You know what I'm about to say. I'm up early this Tuesday morning. I hope you're grinding. I want you to know this is your time. This is your season. And this is your moment. Yes, I know you may be going through. Yes, I know times may be hard. Yes, we're going through this coronavirus pandemic, but I want you to know, in spite of this coronavirus, in spite of this COVID-19, I'm still telling you, in the midst of trouble, this is your time, this is your season, and this is your moment. This is still your year. And what we're going to talk about today, what we're going to talk about today is really going to change your life. And if you listen to this motivational video and you listen to all these principles and everything that I'm going to share with you, it will change your life and it will help you go to the next level. But just don't listen to this video. Just don't watch this video. I want you to take this video and make it applicable to your life. I want... I want you to make this video applicable to your life. I want you to get an authentic why. Because when you have that, when you identify your authentic why. See, your authentic, this is what your authentic why is. This, is. this is what I call it. Your authentic why is your safe ground. When you get an authentic why or why you want to become great and successful, it is your protection. It is your safety ground. Your why is your safety ground. Your why is your protection. Why is that, Dr. Campbell? Because when you start going through and you start, when life starts punching, punching you in the face while you're going after your dreams because you have identified your authentic why and because your why is your safe ground and because your why is your protection you will not quit you will not give up because you're going to think about your why your why may be your your why may be your wife your why may be your children your why may be your 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 family members your why may be because you lost a loved one and you want to make them proud you want to honor them you want to go after your dreams and honor losing your loved one whatever your why is when you identify that why you will go to the next level and before i go any further i want to thank you for all the messages i'm getting hundreds of messages from people all over the world that are telling me that my motivational videos are changing your lives. I am so glad that my motivational videos are changing your lives. I'm, my motivational videos have stopped, has literally stopped, stopped people from committing suicide. That's when you know you are effective as a motivational speaker is whenever you keep someone from losing their lives. It's whenever people watch your, they, they watch my videos and they decided that they wanted to live from watching my motivational videos. That's what it's all about. And that's why you got to get a dream. See, my authentic why is for people like that. My authentic why is for you all, my family. And, and that is my why. So what is your why? And next thing, I want you to dream big. I want you to identify your dream. I want you to dream big. Get a dream. This is my dream. I tell y'all this. My dream is I want to speak in the NBA. I know I'm going to speak in the NBA. I know I'm going to speak in the NFL. I know I'm going to speak in London, Canada, Australia, Bermuda, and other places. I know I'm going to speak in Major League Baseball. I know I'm going to speak in, in corporations. This is my moment. And see, when I'm called upon, I will be ready for the moment. So I want to tell you this. Don't wait for the opportunity, opportunity to come to you and you not be ready. What I want you to do is get ready right now. So when the opportunity comes and you're ready, you'll be ready for the opportunity that comes to you. Don't allow life. I want to say this. We're going to talk about today. Great vision. Don't allow life to keep you crippled. I'm going to say that again. Please write that down. 
Don't allow life to keep you crippled. Don't allow what happened to you to keep you crippled. When it seems like it's taking too long to happen, keep grinding. I'm going to say that again. When it, you're grinding, you're going after your dreams, you're in beast mode, you're in lion mode, but you're getting impatient. You're getting tired. You're wondering, when is it going to happen for me? When are my dreams are going to become a reality? When am I going to become successful? When am I going to become great? When am I going to become a millionaire? When am I, when am I going to become a billionaire? When it seems like it's taking too long to happen, keep grinding. That's what you got to do. When it seems like it's taking a long time for your dreams to become a reality, this is what I want you to do. Keep grinding. Keep hustling. There will be times, catch me now, there will be times in life where you will be aggravated because of what you are going through. But don't give up. I'm going to say that again. There are times where you're going to be aggravated because of what you're going through. But don't give up. When aggravation sets in, whenever you become overwhelmed, because over, whenever you're overwhelmed, whenever you are overwhelmed, it can cause you to quit. Whenever you're overwhelmed, it can cause you to want to give up on life. So whenever you get overwhelmed, remind yourself of your authentic why. Remind yourself what you've already came through. Remind yourself what you've already overcame. What you've already overcome. And go to the next level. So today we're going to be talking about great vision. We're going to be talking about great vision. This is what I want you to do. I want you to have great vision. I want you to escape the poor mindset. I'm going to say that again. I'm talking about a mindset. Yes, I'm talking about a mindset. I want you to stop being negative and I want you to become positive. I want you to, to escape. I want you to leave the prison of the poor mindset. I want you to get a rich mentality. I want you to get a positive mentality. I want you to get a championship-like mentality. Don't let your focus just be about money. Don't let your focus just be about money. You're looking at someone who flunked the first grade. I grew up with a learning disability all throughout elementary school, middle school, and high school. I had a reading and comprehension problem. I was bullied in school. I was picked on. I was told I would never amount to anything. They told me I was retarded. Nobody believed in me. And then when I got in high school, my high school teacher told me, she said, Tommy, you will not graduate high school. She said, Tommy, you're not smart enough to go to college. This brings me to my next point. Maybe I'm talking to somebody. You may not be academically gifted. You might not be the smartest. You might not be the most gifted. But all you need is effort. This is two things. This is two things I want to tell you. Put forth the effort and execute execution. Put forth the effort, execute execution. Put forth the effort, execute execution. When you do that, you will become successful. You will blow up. You will become great. You will accomplish your dreams. She said, Tommy, you'll never go to college. You're not smart enough to go to college. Are you that person that has limitations? Are you that person that has been told that you will never amount to anything? Are you that person that grew up with a single mother home? Are you that person who never knew your father? Are you that person who don't believe in yourself? Are you that person who are suicidal? Don't Are you that person that don't want to live? You want to give up on your dreams? Are you that person that's depressed? Are you that person you're struggling in your business? You're, you're a successful business owner, but you're struggling with depression. You're not happy. You're not complete. If that's you, I want to tell you, don't commit suicide. I want you to live. You shall live and not die. You are loved. You are appreciated. To that person that's depressed, you can come out of that depression. That person who had a rough childhood, you grew up in a dysfunctional family. You never knew who your father was. You've been through a divorce or your parents got divorced or that person that's struggling with a sickness. I'm telling you, great vision. 
And this is what I want you to do. This brings me to my next point. I want you to develop great vision in the midst of your storm. Because great visions and great things come out of storms. Great vision and great things come out of pain. Great visions and great things come out of defeat. Great vision and great things come out of failures and mistakes and losses. She told me I wouldn't go to college. Then right after that, in 2009, I became homeless. I was living on the streets, had to beg for food. It seemed like my life was over. But in the midst of me being homeless, in the midst of me barely graduating high school, in the midst of me flunking the first grade, in the midst of me being told I was retarded, I would never amount to anything. I kept great vision. I believed. I kept encouraging myself. I kept self-motivating myself. That's what you have to do. In the midst of your pain, in the midst of your depression, in the midst of your hurt, you have to learn how to self-motivate yourself. You have to learn to encourage yourself. You got to be hungry. Tell yourself, I can win the Super Bowl. I will win the Super Bowl. I must win the Super Bowl. I will win the NBA championship. I must win the NBA championship. I can win the NBA championship. Say, I can win the NCAA championship. I must win the NCAA championship. I will win the NCAA championship. Say, I will be a doctor. I must be a doctor. I can be a doctor. My point is this. Whatever you want to be, this is what I want you to practice this. I want you to practice this right now. I want you to say while you're watching this video, I can, I will, I must. And right after that, I want you to say whatever you want to be. Say, if you want to be a doctor, if you want to be a real estate owner, if you want to be an actor or a singer or a rapper or a movie producer, whatever you want to be, say, I can be a musician. Say, I must be a musician. Say, I will be a musician. Just whatever you want to be, just start saying it right now. And I want you to see it in your mind every day. I want you to imagine yourself becoming what you want to be. You got to see it before you see it. And then after that, I was homeless. I was shot multiple times. And when I got to the hospital, I was pronounced dead. It seemed like my life was over. It seemed like my dreams were over. But I kept fighting, and I am alive today. And now, I am a published author of two books. This is my new book, Anything is Possible, by Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. on Amazon. And this is my old book, Dream Big. Go to Amazon, go to Amazon and type in the title of these books, Anything is Possible, Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. and Dream Big, Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. I've been telling myself for years I wanted to write a book. What are your dreams? I'm ready for the NBA. I'm ready for the NFL. I'm ready for corporate corporate. I'm ready for London, Australia, Canada, other places. I'm ready for the moment. So when these doors open, and which they are, when they call upon me, because I've been practicing, because I've been doing these videos and being there for you all, and loving on you all, and making sure you all accomplish your dreams, I'm ready for the opportunity. When the opportunity comes, when the NBA comes to me, I'm ready. When the NFL comes to me, I'm ready. When London comes comes to me, I'm ready. When Australia comes to me, I'm ready. When Canada comes to me, I'm ready. I'm ready for the moment. When corporate comes to me, I'm ready. Maybe you work for a company. You have the ability to take that company to the next level. You have to believe in yourself. You have to develop a championship like mentality and take that company to the next level. You want to take that professional team, that college team, be the best athlete you can be. Be a leader. Michael Jordan was a champion. Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Stephen Curry, Giannis, Anthony Davis, Kevin Durant, Kawhi Leonard, they are champions. They think like champions. They play like champions. When they get on that court, because of what they did in practice, they're able to win games. Why? Because they grind in practice. We're talking about great vision. Then I got in college. I flunked out of college. And I got back in college on academic probation. It took me six years to get my bachelor's, five to get my master's, and then I got my doctoral degree. 
There were times in my life where I wanted to quit. There were times in my life where I wanted to give up. Maybe that's you. If you want to give up, don't you give up. I know there will be times in your life where life will punch you so hard, you will get depressed, you will want to quit, you will want to give up. But when life hits you, when life punches you in the face, that's when you got to say, okay, life, I'm going to fight back. Life, I'm going to accomplish my dreams. Life, I'm going to become great. Life, I'm going to become successful. Life, I'm going to make a difference in the world. And now, I am Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. I want you to go for everything they said you could not be. I'm going to say that again. I want you to go for everything they said you could not be. Your family may not believe in you. Your friends may not believe in you. Let me tell you something. While you're going after your dreams, while you're following your passion and your heart, Nine times out of ten, your family and your friends, they will not believe in you. But I want you to go for everything they said you could not be. I want you to spend the rest of your life dreaming. There is something magical about dreaming. I'm going to say that again. Spend the rest of your life dreaming. There is something magical about dreaming. But after the dream... After the imagination, because imagination is powerful. I want you to imagine yourself being exactly what you said you wanted to be. Whatever you want to be right now, I want you to close your eyes and use your imagination. Imagining you, imagining yourself already accomplishing your dreams. Now that you woke up. I want you to put in action. I want you to go to work. That's the hard part. See, it's easy to dream it. It's easy to see yourself doing it in your mind. But when it's time to put in the work, that's when it gets difficult. So you got to be a beast. You got to be willing to do what beasts do. Everybody wants to be, be a beast until it's time to do what beasts do. Like Dr. Eric Thomas says, so you got to be a beast. Now you've dreamt. Now you dreamed it. Now you imagine it. Now you saw it in your mind. It's time to go to work now. It's time to open your eyes. It's time to put in 120% blood, sweat, tears, beast mode, lion mode, chasing the Giselle, 120%. Go after your dreams. Great vision. You got to be hungry. As I close, I'm about to say something that's very important at the closure of this message. Your circle needs to get smaller. See, a lot of you, the problem is your circle is too big. You think everybody is your friend. Everybody's not for you. I want to tell you, the higher you go, the more successful you become, the smaller your circle should get. Because there will not always be people that will celebrate you. There will be people, they will tolerate you, but they will not celebrate you. So your circle needs to get smaller. You need to change your association. You need to get rid of toxic relationships. You're hanging around people who are hindering you. You're hanging around people who are making you be unethical, morally. You're hanging around people who are stopping you from, from becoming successful. So you need to hang around positive people. You need to hang around people who are greater than you. You need to hang around people who want to, who, where you, you want to be where they are. Your vision, next thing is, as I close, your vision needs to get bigger. I'm going to say that again. Step up your vision. Your vision is not big enough. You're believing stuff. You're believing things that's easy to accomplish. You're dreaming too small. Your vision needs to get bigger. See yourself winning the Super Bowl. See yourself winning the NBA Finals. See yourself winning the NCAA Football Championship. See yourself winning the NCAA Basketball Championship. See yourself becoming a doctor. See yourself becoming a lawyer. See yourself becoming a real estate owner. See yourself becoming a musician, a rapper, a movie producer, or an actor, or a golf player, tennis player, baseball player. Player. Whatever your dreams are, your vision needs to get bigger. We're talking about great vision. Without a vision, as I close, write this down. Without a vision, catch this now, I'm going to say it slowly. Without a vision and a dream, you have no direction. Woo! 
Oh, that's that's good right there. I'm going to say that again. Now, I'm going to say that again. I hope you catch that. Please, I hope, please write this down. Without a vision and a dream, you have no direction. When you don't have a vision, when you don't have a dream, you are lost on earth. You don't know the direction in which you are to go when you lack vision and when you lack dreams. Without a vision, the people perish. Without a vision and a dream, you have no direction. So if that's you, I want you to identify your vision and I want you to identify your dream. Maybe you don't have a dream or vision because you, you've been through a tragedy. You lost a loved one. You're struggling with depression. You're suicidal. You're sick in your body. Somebody you love is sick. See yourself being healed. See that loved one being healed. See yourself get, getting off, get, no longer being depressed. See yourself being healed from your sickness. See yourself uh, passing that test. See yourself getting that GED. See yourself getting that academic scholarship. See yourself playing professional sports. See yourself playing college sports. See yourself being a singer. Whatever you want to be. See yourself becoming whatever you want to be. Because without a vision and a dream, you have no direction. As I close, I want you to be what they said you could not be. I have I got to say that again. I want you to be what they said you could not be. There are family members who said you couldn't do it. There are friends who said you couldn't do it. But I want you to be and do what they said you could not be. Prove your doubters wrong. Prove your haters wrong. Prove your naysayers wrong. I want you to grind. I want you to hustle. I want you to go after it. And I want you to be what they said you could not be. You can do it. You can achieve it. You can accomplish it. This is your time. This is your season. This is your moment. I can. I will. I must. You got to be hungry. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please put positive comments all over my all over this video and please click the bell so that way when my videos are uploaded it, you will be notified. So click the bell. I'm here for you. If there's a professional athlete or if there's someone you don't have a father figure, you need coaching, counseling, reach out to me. I'm a professional. My contact information is at the bottom of this YouTube video. I'm here for you. I love you. I got your back. I believe in you. This is your time. You got to believe it. We're talking about great vision. You can do anything. Anything is possible. And I want to tell the whole world that I love you. I believe in you. I am a motivational speaker that truly loves you and I care about the people. I want to see you successful. Thank you. That is my time. Peace.